In this question, we're going to look at a range of things to do with enzymes, including a question that is loosely based around the enzyme required practical. So it states that an enzyme or amylase is an enzyme found in the body. Amylase breaks down starch into sugars. Right, remember, in general, you need to remember and look up where your different enzymes are going to be made. Remember, amylase is made in the mouth. Proteases, so things like pepsin, are made in the stomach. And lipases are made by the pancreas and released into the small intestines. So an enzyme or enzyme speed up chemical reactions. Explain how amylase breaks down starch. Right. If it's talking about speeding up chemical reactions, you need to talk about it in terms of it being a catalyst. So amylase is a biological catalyst. It speeds up the rate of the breakdown of starch by holding it in place so that the water molecules can go and break the bonds in between the individual sugar molecules. You might also want to talk about the fact that enzymes lower the activation energy of any reaction as a catalyst. One sugar in the body is glucose. Glucose can be used in respiration. Give one of the use of glucose by the body. Well, it can be used to go and build other molecules. So it can be used to go and to make fat molecules or anything like that. Moving on, it now goes on to the investigation, right? As always, it gives you lots of information. It's really careful that you go through, read it properly. Anything key, I would probably think about underlining. So it says, the student used a method below. So they put two centimeter cubed of a one starch solution into a boiling tube, put two centimeter cube of amylase into a second boiling tube, put both of them into a water bath. After five minutes, Mix them together. After 30 seconds, put them in a drop-in tile. Then put a spot of iodine in each. Repeat until the iodine no longer changes colour. Then try it for different temperatures. So it goes, why did the students leave the starch and amylase solutions in the water bath for five minutes in step three? Right, remember, whenever you're using any sort of liquid and you're changing the temperature, it takes time for it to get up to that temperature. It's not automatically going to be at the temperature that you want. If you don't leave it in there for long enough, then it won't get up to temperature. One way that you might suggest that it, you could double check this is just put a thermometer into the liquid and then go and check the temperature that way. Right, it moves on to talking about the physical results. So the temperature or body temperature is 37.5 degrees. Figure 8 shows the results of the investigation at 20 degrees and 80 degrees. Complete figure 8 to show the results that you would expect from 40 degrees and 60 degrees. Right, remember, at 40 degrees, it's going to happen quicker than at 20 degrees. However, enzymes become denatured after about 41 degrees. When enzymes become denatured, they lose their active site and can no longer catalyze reactions. So at 60 degrees, you're probably not going to see any, uh, any change. So it goes on to, there are different ways to investigate the breakdown of starch by amylase. One other method is to measure the concentration of starch present in the solution after every second, 30 seconds. Why is this method better than the one that the students use? Right, remember, this is all about precision and accuracy. If you're physically measuring the amount of starch still present, it's not subjective. One person might think that there's colour change, one person might think that there's no colour change. So it gets around that problem. Right, we move on to, right, there's a graph. If there's a graph, then take note of what the axis is labelled. Take note of the shape of the graph. So it goes, the absorption of the solution at 40 degrees was 0.56 arbitrary units after 30 seconds. 
What was the concentration of starch solution? So you'd go and you just go and read it off your graph. Right? So you're going to go and read it off. So it would be there. Go across and just read it down. Right, remember if it makes it easier, go and draw lines on just to show where you were uh, you were getting the information from and it will help you read it. So the concentration of starch solution at 20, centi 20 centigrade after one minute is different from the concentration after 40 minutes. Explain why. Right, this is all about talking about the optimum conditions for enzymes to work at. So enzymes will be working faster at a higher temperature because it's closer to their optimum temperature. You might want to go and talk a little bit about collision theory so there'd be more collisions, so therefore the rate of breakdown would be greater. And finally, predict the absorption of solution at 80 centigrade after 30 seconds and give you a reason why. Well, the absorption would be, well, none of the... Uh, None of the starch is going to be broken down. So you need to go and think your way through, use the graph, and make a suggestion about what the absorption would be. Right, if there's anything that you're still unsure about, go back, watch it again, then go, sit down, have a go at this question, really concentrate on squeezing every last mark out of it.